gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT and we're back with WWE Champions and another four star gold character gameplay preview video. And today we got Drew McIntyre finally into WWE Champions. You guys have been asking for him for a long time. So let's get ready to check out Drew McIntyre and all of his glory. Here we go. All right, we got Drew in game. Uh, looking kind of like uh, John Morrison McIntyre. <laughs> No, I don't know. Did the crosses on his tights kind of this the I don't know that with the the beard and that he kind of looks like uh he looks like John Morrison a little too. Gotta say, oh check it out, we got something to swing around here. I like it. You can swing the coat. Can we get it to flip around backwards? Nope. Still nobody's beating Wendy Richter's cape. I'm telling you that right now. I'm telling you that right now. All right, no actual other gear as of yet. He is a coach. Column break gems do more damage, and at 9k, moves that generate column break gems will create one more, and they will also do a maximum of 15% more damage. Uh, links, he's got a 3MB link with gender, I love it, I love it, matching red gems, charge moves of that color by one more move point, and he's got the raw link and the modern era gem damage link. So, let's get into the first move set. I'm going to run. You know we're running that Claymore kick. No matter what, that's the first thing I want to show you guys. So, he's a powerhouse. So, we got the two reds up here. We got the Claymore kick finisher. 11 charge. Deal 41,249 damage. Destroy 16 random gems and pin the opponent. Sit out power bomb. 8 charge. Deal 25,811 damage and choose a 3x3 three three area to destroy. Then we got the blue move. 9 charge. Spinning future shock. Deal 22,623 damage and choose a 2x4 area to swap into red gems. So, we'll get to the entourage and take a look. I want to get to that spinning future shock right away. So, I'm putting Jerry Lawler on here for the blue move points. I got Powerhouse Roman on here for red gem damage for that move. And then I got Trickster Andre and X-Pac for the recycling factor here. Matching blue gems, matching red gems. We'll charge those moves of one more move point. So let's get out here without further ado and get a first look at Drew McIntyre, the Sinister Scotsman, against Seth Rollins, match 175, Hell Mode. And I'm thinking this is going to be quick work of Mr. Rollins. Bah! <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Uh, of course we don't get a blue match or a red match for that matter. All right, we we set up blue and he didn't take it because he's a dummy. All right, but Seth's ready to hit, so we got to hit first. Let's go spinning future shock as if Drew does that. <laughs> <laughs> why can't he just do the regular future shock you feel me all right let's get this red gem damage pa! 120k we need to if you had him strapped up to the gills with red gem damage man that move would hit so damn hard if i could have got my match on turn one this would have been a big story changer right here it would have been way different now he's going to get his shit in because I couldn't get a match. It's all right. So we're taking an unnecessary hit there. Whatever. Oh, and some cascading. I see you, Seth. I see you. Oh, no kick out damage. What is even going on? All right, choosing a 3x3 three three area to destroy or destroy 16 random gems. I think, uh, uh, let's hit the finisher first. Claymore, pa! Oh, look at that. The Claymore recycled itself, guys. Oh, and of course, Seth is straight out with the Cascades. This isn't a typical match. I mean, he's gotten pretty lucky so far. He got lucky. I got a bad start. He 
He got lucky. Let's just claim more him again. Bah! <laughs> Claymore didn't recycle itself that time, but still another 100k. Alright, we lost a ton of health there. We lost a ton of health there, which leads me to believe maybe I had to try it one more time just to see if that was fluky or not. Let's do it one more time, see if it was fluky or not. See if it was fluky. I'm going to run that same match again. 18 health packs? That's not going to get it done, Chief. It's not going to get it done, Chief. I beat this guy with Trickster Flare, 4-star gold, and used 2 health packs. So, Get it together, Drew McIntyre. Get it together. We're trying to show these people how awesome you are. Again, no blue match. No red match. This is dumb. I'm about to use a prop on turn two just so I can see what it's like when you jump on them because they don't want to give me anything on the board. Let's take that. Oh, no, sure. He's going to get the pin. He's going to set himself up with something. Watch. All right. All right. All right. We still got... Oh, of course he did. I was going to say we still had the drop on him for a second. All right, that one did okay. Okay, we haven't hit the sit-out power bomb yet, so let's go ahead and hit that this time before we hit the future shock. Okay, that can give me three blue. That can get me three blue, but that's three blue and a red. That'd be two blue, two red, I'm sure. The wild would probably just auto give you red, right? Well, I'll put that wild under the blue. Ah, uh, do something. Not bad, 108. Oh, please mess up that green wild. You want to leave as much red on... Oh, great. Of course it did. Let's say you want to leave as much red on the board as you can. Let's hit that Claymore kick here. All right, that one put him down a lot quicker. <coughs> the problem with this one, early cascades for sure could be a problem for you and he's not doing the damage output there that i'm gonna want to see from somebody so he's gonna need to be strapped maybe uh maybe slick rick would be better on that move set i don't know maybe at the very end of this preview maybe i'll add slick rick on there instead but or if we run uh you know what we'll try it again we'll try a different move set here we're gonna run everything against rollins that was seven health packs there but again i didn't get what i wanted so uh, I definitely want to switch a few trainers. So let's go ahead and put the other blue move in here and see what happens with this. So we got another blue move, reverse Alabama slam, level 13, two charge, deal 56, 16 damage and cause your opponent to bleed for two turns. During each of these turns, there is 20% chance to deal 100,036 bleed damage to your opponent holy crap guys okay so we're gonna take lawler out and we're going to put striker sting on so we can get to the red moves faster and then what i'm going to do is put uh let's look for the bleed damage come on bleed damage 150k now <clears throat> I realize Trickster Andre is still on there. He's not hurting nothing. I don't need to change him yet. I got nobody to put in his place there. So 
Let's see if we can get this bleed to work. Now, it says there's only a 20% chance that that bleed can hit. So let's see if it's even going to hit once for us in this match. But it is just a two charge. And I do have tour perks on enough to get that extra one. So let's see turn one. Bop! Come on, bleed him. Bleed him out. Alright, we hit pretty good there. This looks like this set might be pretty decent. Oh, didn't work. Bleed didn't go off again. Problem is, I'm gonna end up getting his health so low. We might have to use that move against Yokozuna, who's got way more health and can stay in the match longer. Still didn't hit. Four chances, and it hasn't hit once. As you can see, though, even without that blue move, the reds are doing just fine by themselves. Come on. There it was. There it was. Put him in the pin and the bleed hit. Took him all the way down to zero. So that move set right there, to be honest, I thought the first move set was going to look better than this one. And uh, I feel like that move set looked better. The red moves work just fine without the blue move filling them when you got Sting and X-Pac. And that chance that the bleed damage is going to be awesome. So... He's gonna, I mean, with that choose the three by three area, as long as you got a decent chunk of red on the board, like you'll do, you'll do all right there. So I like that setup. Let's get into the last two moves. We will definitely check out the last two moves and see how this goes. <clears throat> okay, we got two black moves. We got the overhead belly-to-belly -belly suplex, eight charge, deal 27,785 damage and make six random purple gems into red gems. And then tilt-a-whirl backbreaker, eight charge, deal 20,200 damage plus 9,036 bonus damage for every red gem. So we're going to want to get Bray on here now. So Bray's going to hit the black moves quicker. And then we're going to want to go back to... I'm going to go back to Roman to show you... So it'll be 12,000 bonus damage for every red gem now. With the percent of that bleed being so low, I don't want to waste a trainer trying to... Like, like in the last case there in that last match, he didn't bleed until he had less than... 150k left anyway so what difference did that make although i guess if he was in the pinning combination he would have had a little bit of health left but i'm thinking with this we want to uh we want to check the damage output here on that move with the bonus damage for red gems now if there's not a lot of red on the board again you're going to lose out on a trainer on that so i could you could put uh, makes red gems makes red gems big john stud you could put big john stud but then if there's no purple on the board you see what I'm saying? Then that trainer's going to be down. So you're going to take a gamble on a trainer with this move set, no matter what. Watch, he's going to bleed on the first chance this time now that I took Rollins off. All right, so we got the black match on turn one. He didn't lose 100k there. Okay, six purple into red. And what you want is for this not to cascade, really. Usually when you do a, chuck, a gem chuck move, you want it to cascade. This case you don't 
So let's do the bonus damage for red gems. Ooh, there we go. There we go. There we go. That was that was pretty nasty actually. Oh, didn't lose his 100k. See, now, if I would have had Rollins on there, we're already at the point where he's under 150k. Ah, that one could have bled him to danger. Nah, I'm just stuck in the water here, though, because there's no black break anywhere i'm just all i can do is wait for him still didn't bleed him out that bleed percentage is so low to me i don't know the the bleed with the two red moves would be fine because like i was saying with that move set at least like the reds are recycling well enough on their own without having to have another move to load them so you can afford to wait for that bleed damage but With the black moves here, I don't think you'd really want to run that bleed with. I just did this to show you the black moves anyways. All these chances I've hit for that bleed, and it's just not doing it, Chief. There, finally got him. And he was at 56,000 health, so I don't think wasting the Rollins Architect on him for a trainer slot is going to work for any move set. So going back to move set 2, what I'm going to think is that uh you're definitely I would think that you're probably going to want to just run the two reds with uh, bleed damage but put the slick rick on there instead. I'll show you with the 3 MB tag links video. That's how we're going to run him. <clears throat> So with this move set, with the black moves there, when I had all that red on the board earlier, it would have been way more beneficial to have a red move. Either one of the red moves with this set would have been fine. I probably would have ran the one with the destroy the 3x3 three three area because it's lower charge. But yeah, that's all of Drew's moves. So like I said, the first two move sets probably going to be better. The black moves there, you could do the big damage. So I'm thinking the two black moves with the red move is going to be best. Maybe I should just run it right here, right now, and just... One more match and just get it done. Okay, let's do the two black moves with the sit out power bomb on here now. And yeah, with the red, we got the red damage. There we go. There we go. This is what we want to run. Let's try that move set one more time. Because that bleed damage move is not, not with this move set anyways. When you already didn't have a way to push the pin meter, it's not going to be helpful. Oh, of course he gets a wild card. I can't get anything going against this guy here. Okay. Overhead belly to belly. We're making purple into red. And there was only three, so that's just great. All right, let's do our bonus damage for red. See, at least now we can break red, and there was some purpose behind it. Because now we can help ourselves recycle just a little bit better. We can get four black out of this one. And we can refill the black now. <coughs> now that he's charged though if he didn't get that lucky wild card on turn one so i feel like drew's 
gonna be better than this preview you know what i'm saying like i got a lot of bad boards in this preview and when you get perks going and tag links going for showdown things like that bringing him in for a hot tag or something all loaded up he's gonna be pretty awesome guys see if i can kick out this time All right, purple to red. Bonus damage for red. He's dangered. Now, how do we get the pin meter pushed? There it is. Got to look closely. What did you guys think of Drew McIntyre? Did you guys like him? What moveset did you think was the best? Let me know down in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, I'm going to try some more things. I'm going to have a tag links video for 3MB coming out. I'll try a couple more things with that. So be on the lookout for that in the next couple of days. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe right down below. It's simple. It's easy. It's free. It costs you nothing. It helps me out tremendously. And while you're down there, why not drop an insane elbow right down on that like button for me? And uh, yeah, until next time, guys. Peace.